Welcome to my face. I'm James St. James, and this is Transformations. <laughs> darling, 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 I'm so excited. You're back. I am back. And we have with us today Mr. Billy B, Global Brand Ambassador for L'Oreal Cosmetics. How are you doing? I'm good. I did do the very first Transformations, you which was... You, in fact, you were the one who coined Welcome to My Face. I Remember, did. we were all sitting around saying, how should I do it? What should I say? What, how should we open this? And you said, uh, it should be like, you know, welcome to, and we all went, welcome to my face. Oh, okay. So it was you. So they didn't go, hi, I'm an asshole. They didn't go with that one. No, right. No, no, right. No, no, okay, no. well, that's good. <laughs> so, um, no, but hi, I, I'm an I, asshole. <laughs> this is what I found from being a public person and then putting tutorials or whatever online is you, you set yourself up for criticism. There is a little bit of truth in, in many of many of the potentially negative comments, but even when there's not truth, you can take the hateration and turn it into motivation. Because well, it's like what we all did in high school, where yeah. we were all picked on and bullied and blah blah. blah. And so you turn that into yeah, I'm to going the, to, to overcome. This day, yeah, to this day, every time that I have an accomplishment, I think of the you know people that you know called me a faggot and threw me in a trash can <laughs> or whatever. Right. right. <laughs> You see my hand. I, I could go wash them a thousand times and this isn't going to come off. Because, because it, you're a crack addict. No. No. So what we're going to do today. And I don't think you're going to be able to do it. Oh, well, no, we are. <laughs> what we're going to do today is a Marlena Dietrich inspired tutorial. It's all in the lighting, really, with her. It really um, is. You know, it's the Von Sternberg lighting. Right. It's in the cheekbones. It's in the soaring eyebrows. Those are the tricks that I think we we can achieve. Yeah, we'll get very, very close. The one thing that we probably can't do is you probably could never be as masculine as she was. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, so should we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. go. Okay, Mr. Billy B. Yes. Quit, quit smoking your crack over there. <laughs> First, we erase the face. Erase the face. Because of the time that Marlena Dietrich lived, most of our perception of her is in black and white. I want you to look pretty in black and white and color, so yeah. I'm gonna do it for color and then just sort of explain the way it would look in black and white. For instance, red photographs um, as like a medium gray. So if I want your lips to be really, really um, intense, I would actually do them black if it was going to be photographed in black and white. Gotcha. Now, what so, are you, what well, are you doing this here? is, it's actually a bag of uh, <laughs> cocaine, but I found it in your bag. <laughs> so what I do first is sort of the contouring process. And contouring doesn't mean always dark colors. Contouring can also be using light. This is a, actually a blush from L'Oreal, but it has sheen. A colorless sheen or shine can act as a highlighter and then sort of complement the oh. contour. Um, I'm gonna bring a little bit down the bridge of your nose. And if you've ever watched a Kim Kardashian tutorial, this is how supposedly every real girl's makeup starts too. <laughs> yeah. I always start with sort of lighter colors and build into the darker color. I think it enables sort of the blending process and also it sort of gives you a safety net. Makeup for me is like a coloring book. Once you sort of get the outlines, then you start filling it in. But my make makeup looks horrible. <laughs> until about the last five minutes. Until that last five minutes, I'm like, okay, this will be the job that ends my career. This is like <laughs> the biggest mess I've ever made. One time I was doing a Harper's Bazaar cover with a very famous talk show host who was sort of famously overweight, a white person. Okay. And this was a huge big deal for me. She's like one of the biggest stars in the world at the time. And she gets on set and although she looked great, she still looked like her head was this big. Once you're on set, your time's up. You know, you can't then say, certainly to one of the most, uh, the busiest and famous photographers in the world, oh, sorry, hold on, I need 10 more minutes or 20 more minutes. Right. So I ran to the back and got a jet black eyeshadow. I said, hold on a minute, her lips need touching up. And I said, chin up, and I went <laughs> like that with black all the way around like I was cutting her head off. <laughs> Blended it out like for two seconds and then prayed. And you would have never, ever known. P 
people do false eyelashes the very last thing. I was gonna say, are we almost done? You're putting the lashes no, on. No, no, we're not. But the lashes can be a great uh, indicator of where tool you are. for that, yeah. yeah. And this kind of look, there's not a lot to it. It's mm -hmm. a lip and a lash. That's that's really the look. Instead of using one big pair of I lashes, I use I create my own lash yeah. basically. I cut them up and change them. Use pieces of one and pieces of another. The goal is just to be to look the best version of yourself. Yeah. I mean, this is just the best the best version of you. <laughs> this, yeah, exactly. I have not had plastic surgery. Have you had plastic surgery? Clearly, you haven't. Look at you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Well, and what I mean by that is men. I, that sounded like a diss, but it was not. <laughs> <laughs> Men, it's very tricky when you have plastic surgery, not mentioning any names, Kenny Rogers. Yeah. It's not about what is it that they need. It's about just going and having a procedure. There are only so many procedures you can do. They all do the same procedure, and so they all ended up looking alike. I would never point out someone who's had bad, bad surgery. You know, plastic Shatter. surgery. Burt Reynolds, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it goes on and on and on. This glue burns like fuck. Well, that's what everyone says, yet I still continue <laughs> to use it. Are you starting to feel German, like a German lesbian? I have all. Start practicing being masculine in that sitting position. I can make you look like her all day long, but you have, it's like the facial expression and the body position and all that will re really be what comes across on the camera. And you'll either make me look like a genius or you'll ruin my career, so it's up to you. Okay. Falling in love again, never wanted to do your position. My funny Valentine. That, you sound like her, that is how she sang. Sweet Hideously. Sweet Valentine. You make me smile. You sound more like Courtney Love on a bender. Do your Marlena look. Oh, it's, look, look, she's coming to life. It's happening. Okay, we're gonna do lips. What are we gonna do? We're just gonna line them. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, okay. Is there a, a special 30s style lip that? If then, it was more of a bowed shape. Uh huh. And it tended to be very defined here. And depending on the actress, it was either really deep or really shallow. Now it's however you can possibly do it, whether it's overdrawing or lip plumpers and all that, it's exactly the opposite. So now I'm gonna go change and we're gonna have our transformation, oh my God! Bring me a mirror. Bring me Barbara Stanwyck's pussy. And don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe to, to Wow Presents! Presents.